Hi, I'm Hank from Living Acts 29 Ministries, and this is Are You in the Word? Today, I'm going to be reading from 1 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. It is actually reported everywhere that there is a sexual immorality among you, a kind of immorality that is condemned even among unbelievers, Gentiles, that, some, that someone has an intimate relationship with his father's wife, and you are proud and arrogant. You should have mourned and shame so that this man who has done this disgraceful thing would have been removed, would have been removed from your fellowship. For I, through the absence from you in the body but present in spirit, have already passed judgment on him who is, has committed this act, as if I were present. In the name of the Lord Jesus, when you are assembled and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to hand this man over to Satan for destruction of his body, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Your boasting over the supposed spirituality of your church is not good. Indeed, it's vulgar and inappropriate. Do you not know that just a little leaven ferments the entire batch of dough, just as a little sin corrupts a person or the entire church? Clean out the old leaven so that you may, so that you may be a new batch, just as you are still unleavened. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with old leaven, nor the leaven of vice and malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and untainted truth. I wrote to you in my previous letter not to associate with sexually immoral people, not meaning the immoral people of this world or greedy ones or swindlers or idolaters, for then you would have to get out of this world and out of human society altogether. But actually, I have written to you not to associate with any so-called Christian brother, for he, for if he is sexually immoral or greedy or is an idolater, devoted to anything that takes the place of God, or is a reveler who insults and slanders or otherwise is verbally abuses others, or is a, drunken, a drunkard or a swindler, you must not so much as eat with such a person. For what business is it of mine to judge outsiders or non-believers? Do you not judge those who are within the church to protect the church as, as the situation requires? God alone sits in judgment on those who are outside the faith. Remove the wicked one from among you. Expel him from your church. That ends our reading today. I hope you find blessing in this reading. Please join us each and every morning as we continue to read the New Testament. Be blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.